My fingers are wrapped around underneath, around her, the front of her thighs. She's like, oh, I don't like that. So I'm just bouncing her up and down a little bit, but her feet don't leave the ground. Okay? And how many times you do it? Like... Uh, she only tolerated just five before she wanted to get away. Mm -hmm. So as long as she'll tolerate it. So you do maybe, if I only got five in the first time, see, and now I'm doing the front. Same thing? Yeah, so pushing through my whole hand and pushing into the floor. So what that does is put extra pressure in through uh, the joints and we have receptors in the joints that help um, give a little bit more feedback to her. So now your fingers on in the front are where and where? So I'm wrapping here, I'm wrapping around the front, mm -hmm. okay, and then I have two underneath the ribs here, mm -hmm. okay, and then the rest, so my palms cover the ribs and then my thumbs over the top of the shoulder blades. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, on either side. Yeah, and then we just press down gently. Oh, into okay. the floor. Do you see how the push, mm -hmm, push, push, mm -hmm. push, push? She tolerates mm -hmm. the front end a lot better. That's interesting. Yeah, and when I do that, she also has to contract and relax her muscles, so it's a little bit of an exercise. Okay. All right, she yeah, hates sure. when I do the back end. Look at her. She's like, I'm getting out of here. That's how good. do you pick her up, like just like that? No. <laughs> You just, you just gently, you have to support her a little bit. So you come up yeah. underneath here because you don't want her to get away. You yeah. see how my fingers wrap mm -hmm. around? Yeah. And then you can just gently take her back end like this so that you oh have good. So 